Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Today I'm going to read you a story called American Football. And it's going to talk about the sport of American football, or like most of us here in America, we just call it football. But we know that around the world, if we say football, a lot of people will think we're talking about soccer. So around the world, people call it American football, but here where we live, we just call it football. And we're going to learn a little bit about the sport and how it works and why it's so popular. American football. Why is American football a fun sport for fans and players? Fans, not talking about like a fan that you might have on when it's really hot and you want to stay cool, but a fan is like a spectator or a person or people who are sitting down watching someone play. Call those fans. Some words we want to know. End zone. Goal posts. Score. Sport. Tackle and teams. And for those of you who maybe don't know a lot about American football, some of those words you might not have understood, but um, hopefully in the story we'll see them and I can explain a little bit about them. This is just our table of contents showing our different pages and, and what the page is going to be about. An exciting sport. American football is a sport. It is fun to play. And our caption on this picture says, a football player is ready to pass the ball. So this person here, this is actually a college football game. So these are not professional players. They are, are students who go to school, but also play football at a college or a university. Football teams. Many American cities and schools have football teams. The Super Bowl is the biggest football game. And their caption says, many people go to each Super Bowl game. Many others watch the game on TV. So this game here, this is a football game between two teams called the Packers and the Steelers. One team is from the state of Wisconsin. Another is from the state of Pennsylvania. And in the Super Bowl, it's the most popular game. So think about it like, you know, in soccer, like the World Cup or the Champions League final. This is like the Super Bowl. It's the biggest football game, American football game in the world. And many, many people go to the games, but millions of people are at home watching the game. So it's a really, really important game to figure out who the best team is and who, and who the champion is going to be. Football around the world. People play American football in many countries. And our caption on the bottom says, a team from Germany, they're the team with the ball, the black and red team, is about to play, sorry, is about to start a play against a team from Sweden. So these are actually two different countries. And a lot of times when we think about American football being only played in America, but it is played in many other countries around the world. And if you look at the map above, here we see a map of the world, all of the green places are different areas where they play American football, okay? So up in North America where we live, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, even though we don't think about it, they play American football as well. But usually the best players and the best teams play in the United States where we live. This, I'm not going to read this whole page, but this is just showing the American football field, okay? So the field is very, very long, okay? It's over 100 yards, okay? So it's really long and saying it's 360 feet from one end zone all the way to the other. Now the yellow things we see, looks like the letter Y kind of, um, that's called the goal post. That was one of the words we talked about in the beginning. And that's where you need to kick the ball through and you can score like one point or sometimes you can score three points if you kick the ball through there. Um, and the field is 100 yards long. And then the end zones, which are like the two rectangles at the top and bottom near the yellow part, that's where you score a touchdown. Playing the game. Football teams try to score points. They try to stop the other team from getting points. And our caption says, 11 players from each team are on the field at the same time. So this is another picture of a college football game. The red team with the S in the middle, that's called Stanford. It's a college in um, California. And they're playing against, I think, another team from California called USC, the University of South, um, Southern California, sorry. So it's a really important game. And like other sports, 
your goal, what you're trying to do as a team, is to score a lot of points. And when you're playing defense, your goal is to stop the other team from scoring points. So just like in soccer, if your goal is to try and score a lot of goals, football is the same thing, except they don't call them goals, they call them points. Each end of the field has an end zone. Players try to get the ball into the end zone. They can run with the ball. So you can see where they're pointing the end zone there near, near the, the yellow goal posts. That says Buccaneers. This is a team called the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They play in Florida. That's where Tom Brady is playing now. So if you are on offense, you have the ball, and you get into the end zone with the ball in your hand, you score a touchdown. And that's how you score points. Players can also throw or hand the ball to a player on their team. If a player with the ball reaches the end zone, it is a touchdown. They score six points with each touchdown. So they're saying that there's more than one way to actually get into the end zone. You can hold the ball in your hand and run with it all the way in and you'll score a touchdown. Or someone can throw you the ball and you could catch it in the end zone. And that's also a touchdown. And every time you score a touchdown, you get six points. After a touchdown, the team can try to score one or two extra points. If the team kicks the ball between the goalposts, the team scores one extra point. So the picture on the top, you can see there's a kicker. So a lot of times people who are very good at soccer end up playing football and they become the kickers. So after a touchdown, if you kick the ball all the way through the goalposts, you will get one extra point. So your touchdown that got you six points now will become seven points. Or, and I'll see if they're going to talk about it on the next page, it says the team can also run with the ball or pass it into the end zone. If they do, they score two extra points. So you do have a chance to get eight total points if you try something called a two-point conversion. It's a little bit confusing, but it's, it's basically if you can run or, or throw the ball into the end zone. Instead of just getting one point after a kick, you can get two points. So your team can get eight instead of seven. But it's risky because sometimes you don't get it. The other team tries to stop players with the ball. They tackle them to stop them. And our caption says, the player in the white tackles the player with the ball. So the one thing we know about football, and a lot of you might have seen before, is that football is a very dangerous game because... People are hitting each other and they're tackling each other. So this person here in the purple and the yellow and white, he is trying to run with the ball. He's on offense and the player in the white and blue, he's on defense. So his job is to try and stop the player from running, to get him onto the ground any way he can so that he doesn't score a touchdown. So every play people are hitting each other and that's why it can be dangerous and people can get hurt. The other team also tries to take the ball from the team with the ball. If they do, they can run with the ball and try to make a touchdown. So what they're saying is that when you're playing defense, if the team on offense throws the ball, you can also try and go catch it, even though they're not trying to throw it to you. If you catch it when you're playing defense, you can run with it and try and score a touchdown. And if you're on offense, your goal or what you're trying to do is only throw the ball to your teammates. You don't want to throw the ball to the other team. That's a bad thing. Just like in soccer, when you're passing the ball, you want to pass it to your teammate and not pass it to the other team. The same is true in football. Football fans. Some football fans paint their faces. Other fans dress in the colors of their team. Football is a fun sport for fans and players. So, just like in soccer... When you go to a game, you might be, you know, if you're going to watch a central game, you might wear central green. Or if you're going to watch Memorial, you might wear red. Or if you're going to watch Chelsea, you might wear blue. Or Manchester United, you wear red, right? Or Real Madrid, you might wear white. Well, football fans are the same thing. When they go to watch a game, they might dress up or wear the colors of their favorite team. And this person here wearing the purple... He is a fan of a team called the Minnesota Vikings, I think. Um, they are a purple team. Although there's another, other colleges that also have purple and yellow, so um, he might be for a different team. But sometimes they might paint their faces. This person's actually painting his, his body. He's not wearing a shirt. But usually people might just wear like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a jersey to 
show which team they like best. So that is the end of our story. Um, I know some of you maybe have not played American football or you maybe don't know a lot about it, but I hope you were able to learn a little bit about it and understood why it's so popular here in America. It's the most popular sport and people here like to watch it and like to play it. Um, right now with, with the coronavirus coming along, they're still figuring out if they can play football because um, it might be dangerous to play and they don't want people to get sick. But people are very anxious and, and they hope that football will happen because, like the story said, people enjoy playing it and enjoy watching it. And if they can't watch it this year, they might be very sad. So hopefully they'll get to do that. Um, thanks again for listening to the story. I hope you guys learned a lot and have a great rest of your day. And please check back tomorrow for another one. Take care.